MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Jeff, this is the Ultramat, which is different to the Suprema. I'd like to know the differences, but really, what, what is this machine about? Again, cylindrical grinder, uh, multi wheels, external and internal. This particular model has a B-axis, a powered B-axis, as opposed to the Suprema, which only has a manual B-axis. So this could be programmed in cycle? This can be programmed in cycle. As we can see now, the, work, the wheel head has moved around in, in order to dress the grinding wheel before we grind the taper. That B-axis is essentially moving to uh, change the position of the grinding wheels for, whether, for whichever diameter. Exactly. So now we, we dress it at zero degrees, we've inclined the head now in order to grind this taper tool holder. I'm, I'm interested to see a, a tool holder, this is a good application to be looking at. I like the way you're holding this as well between sensors, why wouldn't you use a chuck or something like that? No, accuracy is better off of sensors. Uh, obviously good sensors, but we're able then to take the part, turn it around to do both ends locating off of the same point on the component which has got to be better for concentricity between the two halves. Yeah and what can you achieve in that area? In concentricity of uh, less than half a micron. Really that's impressive I mean what about in external factors as well about you know growth of the machine does that come into it at all? Oh absolutely it, it is a piece of cast iron it will expand and contract um, so we've added a feature into our machine called the regrind which allows us to make very fine adjustments quickly on a component. For example, if a diameter is slightly oversized, the regrind facility will bypass the majority of that cycle and just take off the few microns that we've programmed it to. To give you the ultimate inaccuracy. To give us the ultimate accuracy. So if you're working with some very expensive, very complicated parts, you may want to uh, take it slightly slower when you're doing this. Sort of Which you're likely to be doing with a Jones and Shipman machine? Absolutely, all the time. Now, we've, we've spoken about the fact you've got external and internal grinding, but what size of components could you cope with? 300mm uh, diameter. This particular machine has 160mm centre height. Other machines within the range have bigger centre heights in order to swing larger components. One of the main differences, the Ultramat range comes fully kitted out with all of the features that are options on the Suprema, scales, encoders, etc. So this machine as well, is it, is it put together, assembled here in Leicester? Yes, yes. This is one of probably 10 or 12 that's now under construction, ready to go out. And the Ultramat or the Ultramat 1000, is that just one model or...? No, no, we have uh, two, 650 between centres, 1,000 between centres. And what about the control, finally? Is this easy to use? It is, uh, as the name suggests, easy CNC. So we have an easy control, which we have here, similar to the Suprema, or a full CNC with a fan at zero eye control. And when we look at what we're doing here as an application, would it matter what materials you were looking to grind? Um, on how long does it take to change the wheel if you were looking at a different part? Um, if you had to do a wheel change it probably takes something in the reason 20 minutes depending now how the guy works. Wheels are critical to the process. Without a good grinding wheel you won't produce a good part. And you guys aren't just machine sellers, you're solution providers as well? Absolutely, the applications that we work with are to tailor the machine to suit the customer's expectations and needs. Brilliant, thanks Jeff. Pleasure.